Hello and let's talk about the inauguration of Arun Jaitley statue at the Arun Jaitley Stadium. The statue of the former finance minister and former president of the Delhi and District Cricket Association or DDCA was inaugurated on its 68th birth anniversary today. The move caused quite the controversy with former cricketing legend Bishan Singh Bedi taking strong objection to the move and writing two letters in this regard to the DDCA president. In the first letter, he demanded that his name be removed from the spectator's stand in the stadium and also said that he would quit the DDCA. In his second letter, he added that he did not want to be, and I quote, part of a cricket stadium which has the statue of a person who I strongly believe brought down cricketing values in the capital hugely, to say the least, end of quote. Bedi has protested last year too when the stadium that was till then famous as the Ferocia Kotla Ground was renamed as the Arun Jaitley Stadium. Now, this is one of the many aspects of this decision which also poses larger questions on the naming of stadiums and sport establishments in the country. Now, of course, this is not restricted to the BJP as this was mastered by the Congress in the beginning. But how do we see this move in today's context and its impact on sports persons? We talk to Leslie Xavier. Thank you, Leslie, for joining us. So, uh, today, the, the, the statue of Arun Jaitley, of course, being inaugurated. Uh, and there's been a lot of controversy, of course, around it. Bishan Singh Bedi's comments, for instance, which we just looked at. But also the fact that there have been larger questions about the, uh, say, the issue of how is Indian sport named or recognized for that matter and the role administrators play, you know, and what signs it sends to the rest of the country regarding sports in India itself. So before we get into some of the specifics, maybe would you just want to give your views on this controversy itself? Uh, well, our country is fast becoming a country of statues. <laughs> we have biggest achievements uh, we measured in the tallest statues that we built. Uh, so, uh, we, uh, getting into the uh, point that you mentioned, uh, for the longest time, I, I used to joke, I mean, in my sporting career as well as, uh, of course, I have competed in some stadiums which are named after sports persons. Like, for instance, in Lucknow, I have competed in KD Singh Babu Stadium, which is named after the great hockey player who was part of India's independent India's first hockey team, which won gold. Anyway, uh, but predominantly in India, across the states, if you look at it, all the major stadiums are named after uh, politicians, ex-prime ministers mostly. So I used to joke that uh, if a foreigner who is not well versed with Indian history or uh, the happenings here, then he would think that Jawaharlal Nehru or Indira Gandhi or Taji Gandhi are the greatest sports persons of this country has produced because that's that's how our sporting venues are known after after these politicians that way. So then coming to Arun Jaitley, Mr. Arun Jaitley, after his death soon, the DDCA were very quick uh, to rename Pidoshra Kotla, an historic, a historic venue. And it's one of the first stadiums in the country. Uh, it was, I believe, in the in 1883 that it was uh, inaugurated. It was open. And uh, they renamed it Arun Jaitley Stadium. And in a year's time, I mean, today happens to be his uh, birthday, birth anniversary. Uh, they have inaugurated their statue at gate number one of the of the stadium, which is incidentally named after within the Sarvag. It's called within the Sarvag gate. So the venue itself, the historic significance of the venue, the Kirosha Kotla. I mean, it's 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 adjacent to the to the fortress, and uh, so the naming convention, the name original name comes from there, and beyond that. The stadium itself has has, uh, has been witness to many historic feats. The latest and with the current generation of ours, we would associate with the ten wicket hall that uh, Anil Kumble had the record record ten wicket hall. Otherwise, uh, if you go back further, there have been a lot of instances when great innings have been played out there, uh, and uh, also, uh, but off late. Uh, Pirosha Kautla and Delhi and District uh, Cricket Association, DDCA, we associate it with uh, corruption and political infighting and uh, backstabbing and allegations and all these things. And it more or less, I mean, I mean, you can't just, I mean, you can't put it exactly at a, at a starting, starting point, of course, because these things have a long history. 
as in corruption and the way a body is run or where the politics is being played with it. But uh, Arun Jaitley was uh, president of DDCA for, from 1999 to 2013. And uh, coinciding with this period was when Delhi Cricket and DDCA and Fisheshwa Kotla started sliding into into controversies, mired in controversies, corruption allegations. There were uh, renovations happening in the stadium, which again, there were corruption of, of uh, I mean, alongside the renovation, like people took money, people, I mean, and that is where uh, former players like uh, uh, Bishan Singh Bedi and all that have been very vocal about, uh, uh, about these issues. Though whenever he comes out and says something, it, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's very, clear who pushes that narrative. So the people say, people address him as saying that, uh, by the way, Bishan Singh Bedi said this, but he lost the DDCA presidential election to Arun Jaitley in 99. So people think that he is, he, is, he is pointing out things or he is always critical because he lost that election to Jaitley and he doesn't like Jaitley and so forth. But no, being a cricketer, being a proud cricketer, that too, because he belongs to a generation who who, of, of Indian cricketers who were playing for pride that way, who were playing to make a mark in the world of cricket. They were considered underdogs and they were going out to hostile countries where spin bowling was not exactly a wicket taking option, but still uh, bowlers like Bishan Singh Bedi alongside other great spinners that we have produced uh, used to make inroads and ensure that India came out respect, respect, rest, with, with a respect, respectable performance, or at least, I mean, if not, if not victory. And also have been part of may, many memorable victorious sides. So a person who has done great on the cricket field comes out and says that if this statue is being erected here, then I don't want my name to be associated with this stadium. That, I mean, as sports lovers, as, as, as a sporting I mean, as a nation itself, we should we should stand up and notice why is he saying that. We should try and understand what is the backstory to this. And the backstory is simple. Arun Jaitley is not a cricketer. Arun Jaitley's tenure as a cricket administrator has been tainted left, right, and center by a lot of lot of uh, happening around happenings around. But it happened under his tenure. That period. So uh, to bring a statue onto a sporting venue it's uh, the meaning of it the it's 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 difficult to understand difficult i mean i can i can relate with vishen singh Vedi for what he's saying but i can't relate with this this erection of this statue at the at the court lab. i mean i i still refer to the stadium as the court lab because that's how it is <laughs> absolutely right and in this context generally it's kind of important to think about this issue, not only with respect to cricket or Delhi for that matter, but the entire country, like you said, the uh, stadiums and facilities named after politicians is one thing. There's, of course, another issue we've talked about so much in the past, which is that sport administration itself is often completely dominated by politicians, sometimes rival camps from the same party, like we talked about recently, sometimes rival camps from different parties. And in all of this, it seems to definitely have an impact on uh, the way sport is administered in the country as well. So while the, this naming itself may not cause any problems to Indian sport in that sense, it seems to be a sign of a larger melee, so to speak. Uh, well, uh, uh, just one instance, and you will know the deep, deep-rooted systemic problem here. Arujaitli's son is the head of DDCA now. And let's just be silent and let it sink in. And so, yeah, and... Uh, is basically erecting that statue at the stadium. But beyond that, there is a larger game, which is, I mean, the idea of naming and renaming, which is happening across the country. And of course, the, uh, the larger idea of erecting statues. So I have, I've had this discussion with a couple of colleagues of mine uh, last year when, when another renaming happened, another renaming, renaming happened. And then the stadium renaming happened with Jaitley. In fact, Newsweek had covered that uh, that moment, that piece with a piece as well. So the point is 
when we look at Firosha Kotla or when we name any of the stadiums, for instance, Chennai's MA Chidambaram or Chinna Swami Stadium in Bang, uh, Bangalore or uh, the various Raji Gandhi stadiums, Indira Gandhi stadiums, IG complex here in Delhi, Nehru Stadium, Talkatora Stadium. Uh, it's uh, it's basically like uh, if you if you make a direct comparison to a, pre, I mean, a, a few generations, a few centuries back, it's basically monuments that would last the test of time. It would last through history and uh, uh, coming generations will look at it and would look at the name and then they would be uh, intrigued what it is whose name is this and then so it's it's basically ensuring a certain type of history to continue or start from here and then continue so it's basically uh, as sinister as rewriting textbooks it's not a simple renaming process here it's 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 renaming i mean it's it's reworking history if you ask me so arun jaitley's uh, uh, statue being erected over there and then of course there will be a long write up underneath epitaph or uh, explaining his contribution to delhi cricket and why is i mean basically justifying why his statue statue is there and that's it he has been immortalized in in indian cricket by 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 this this simple process so it's not as simple as just erecting a statue and what what is what is there in that oh, everything is there in that because that entire area that that stadium in the in the coming years when world cup matches be will be held over there internationally you are calling this stadium arun jaitley stadium and the visuals of this statue will do the rounds much, much like don bradman's statue when when cricket is played in australia and and the venue where which which has Don Bradman statue, which will go there always. They look at the Don and they say, "This here you go, the greatest batsman of all time." So here you go. Is uh, are we trying to say that India's best administrator is Mr. Arun Jaitley, sports administrator, and he has done so much so much for Indian sport? I I I doubt that. And so uh, also there is BCCI dynamics happening within this. Uh, it's a, it's a very critical juncture for BCCI. The Saurabh Ganguly, Jay Shah combined. They're trying to cling on to the seats, and uh, the hearing is on Supreme Court, and uh, they would want a lot of goodwill coming from all the powers so that uh, they could they could continue with their uh, positions in the BCCI. So that there is a larger game based on that also. So. If, if you look at the tenure of Saurabh Ganguly as BCCI president, and these are the stuff that he has been doing. Of course, cricket has been running on autopilot. There is a set uh, system in place where IPL happens, domestic cricket happens, and uh, new talent, new cricketers come up and into the system, and the national team is always there to uh, iron out all the flaws. I mean, you win a T20 series, that's it. All the flaws, all the games, all the politics have been forgotten. So everything is in place. He didn't do much over there. He has been doing, what he has been doing is all these frivolous things. I mean, hosting a print ball test to start with and hosting a cricket match in Delhi. And again, the timing of that match was very critical because that was the, I believe, the first match after the stadium was renamed Arun Jaitley Stadium. So that was very important. That's more or less like a validation of, of the stadium's name. And so it happened height, at the height of Delhi pollution, smog happening all around. And people, I mean, there was directives from, uh, there were directives from Delhi government saying that uh, people shouldn't go out much gather much and you open that entire stadium for people to sit and breathe in the smoke. The players were struggling then. So, and then now the statue idea, statue uh, uh, move, if you I can call that a move. And it's it's pretty, I mean, it's all well connected in that sense. It's not an isolated event as such and the larger game is, is pretty much out in the open and larger game is what uh, people like Bishan Singh Bedi have been trying to point out to the public. Absolutely. And Leslie, you had begun talking about your own sports career. How does this kind of, say, an act or what kind of message does this send across to sports persons? Uh, it's showing them, I mean, in that sense, uh, 
when we used to compete and when we used to go to these different venues uh, and when we see all these names. So I'll give you an example of uh, me for the first time stepping into and it was uh, a premier venue of, of wrestling for India and KD, KD Yadav Stadium and KD Yadav being the first uh, uh, Olympic wrestling medalist for India in the 1952 Helsinki Games. And uh, so this is, these are exactly the words that you, you hear from your coach. And you are a youngster and you, you are told that you know the significance of this stadium. Uh, you know this man. And then they explain. So that's the, that's the, that's the whole idea. As a, as a young kid, you are walking into a venue and they would, they would tell you that this man has done so much, so, so, so things on the playing field. And this is what you aspire to be. This is what you aspire to do as a sports person. So, sporting venue is awe-inspiring, it's career-defining, it career, it's career-changing for a youngster walking into it for the first time. And you, you, sometimes you literally shiver when you enter and you know the enormity of that. Of, uh, that's, that's why people uh, sometimes, uh, when, when cricketers play in Eden Gardens, they say that we, we have goosebumps inside. Or the Lords, we... When the Indian cricket team travel to England, Lord's Test is always considered. A, I mean, Lord's Century is big because because of the enormity of that venue. So uh, that's what stadiums are. And for the fan, it's it's a it's a it's a larger idea. I mean, it's a, it's it's slightly more impersonal, but a larger idea of being in that moment, so being I mean, with all the emotions and the trappings and the and the history making that happens within that playing field. It's it's. Uh, so, stadiums is a convergence of 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 the, all these energies, emotions, history, everything together, and in that you push in uh, these these aberrations, which which are which I consider aberrations, but but for India it's the norm. So I'm just I'm just looking. At, I mean, thinking about Arun Jaitley Stadium and Arun Jaitley Stadium uh, statue there. I'm just thinking of the the kids who would stand in front of that statue and click a picture and then go back and then keep the keep it for posterity, saying I was there when this match happened, and then ten years later look at it and then trying to figure out who is this man standing there. <laughs> so uh, uh, that's that's the that's the whole point. So uh, is it is it meant to inspire future? Is it meant to meant for anything bigger than what the goal that we discussed so far that seems very apparent, the political gaming and positioning and ensuring ensuring and making of legacy, if you ask me. And so uh, it's, it's unfortunate that this is happening in, the, in this country. And it's, 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 got, uh, it's touching sport and it's always touched sport. But like I said earlier, at least it was politicians who were prime ministers of India. At least. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Lizzie, for talking to us. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from the country and the world. Until then, keep watching News Click.